it is no longer news that the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Obi, has speech that he, Baba Med, as his running mate ahead of the 2023 presidential election. Baba Med was announced as Peter Obi's running mate in an occasion that took place at the party's secretariat. Following the development, Nigerians have been speaking about the choice of Obi and his chances in the forthcoming general elections. Meanwhile, the presiding pastor of Jehovah Eye Salvation Ministry, Prophet Godwin Ikiru, has maintained that no matter the choice of Obi, he cannot become the next president. Why? Let's know the reason why he said so. Speaking through his Facebook page on Saturday, Prophet Godwin Ikiru said Obi has already made a huge mistake that will deprive him of becoming the next president of Nigeria, according to the man of God. Obi should not have left people, People's Democratic Party and his current party lacks the structure that would help him to win. He also said Obi should have stayed in PDP, which would have made it easier for Atiku to pick him as his running mate. Mm. So this one, uh, Prophet. What? He's speaking as a. He's not speaking from the office of the prophet. He's speaking as, as a as a citizen, and if you talk about a speaking from the angle of, uh, a citizen, will you even say this statement made sense in the first place? So, what makes you think now that uh, people want to go for another full animal? No, what makes you think so? So because of who be your words, I don't understand. So you think the position of a uh, vice president is more is so important as far as we we know in this country, unless you have a uh, somebody who is open minded, who is not going to go in the life of line of the constitution that has been put in place that does not give group for the vice presidents, and it will be, it will be difficult for you to have such a leader in this country because the manner at which the constitution has been constructed those who are evil minded will want to go in that line but if they are open minded may be fine but with the crops of politicians that we have so does it really make sense so you expect people again because of peter b they will not go and vote for another another person from a uh, buhari's a uh, uh, ethnic group and you call that fairness i don't understand what these people are talking about because i was even thinking maybe he's going to say oh god said this uh, because that is what they always use to cajole people and to put fear in people's mind, where people are not even listening to all of those all of those uh, jargons that they say. Because when you see the Bible says, "By their fruits you shall know them." When they talk, you begin to wonder, really, is this how God operates? Is this how God works? Huh. So he would have stayed there, and he's not going anywhere. So Abdul would have won. So if he wins, so oh my God. So you want to tell me that these people now that call themselves clergymen they have the interest of 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 the people at heart can you imagine prophet if your god tells you that nigeria will continue like this with these expired politicians without offering a solution i cannot argue with you or your god but permit me to say that god is not fair to nigerians allow us to grow for a go for a leader of our choice and not to follow unguided prophecies which sources are doubted he didn't even say god he said so from his own listen mm -hmm. what well, a very nice answer you don't become a prophet by choosing to prefix prophets to your name prophets are called by god and god speaks through them prophet godwin or whatever he chooses to call himself is evidently a false prophet he's probably looking for money or relevance or both. Mm. You people believe that uh, Obi can win. Zero, zero, zero. Then you people believe that uh, what the man said, that it would have been, it would have, it would have left a uh, PDP. is the right thing. <laughs> okay. If to say that happened to be Mbaka's speech, now they would have jailed him for no reason. Fear the voice of the prophet. They are speaking from the realm of the spirit, really. You are brainwashed. 
That is the prophet's opinion, not that of God. Not that God said before, your realm of the spirits. God did not say that from the realm of the spirits because he didn't say God said so. He's just speaking for himself. For himself. So, any people as as if it's like a, the way people are brainwashed, eh? They are, they 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 wire themselves because that's not how God wired them. Because Bible said everything God created is good, it's very fine. But people have decided on their own, even just as He has given the power for you to choose, um, and pick who you want to serve. He has given you that free will to do what you want to do. But some people have chosen to make human beings brainwash them. So anybody, if you just because you're a pastor, anything you just you just, you just says. You know you don't need to have to reason you don't need to reason it out because it's always speaking every time it's from the spirit it's speaking from the spiritual realm it's speaking from the spiritual realm and you cannot even when the bible says test all spirits test whether this is of god or not every so far somebody just say um a pastor i mean uh, anything just so yeah you don't enter around just like that you don't go even think huh? is that how god told you is that how god told you to do Huh. Mm. we have a long way to go because we have a lot of people who are in this category who cannot reason who cannot just think are you God that will declare who is going to be president or not some of you prophets are beginning to cross your boundaries that is the truth about your Peter B chance of winning the election key to the points and realign instead of abusing him to realign I don't understand is it a I don't because these guys they don't just bring facts. They don't even say what is happening and what is not happening, who is qualified and who is not qualified because they are just they base their their assumption, they base their winning on vote buying, those who already have money. Those, those are the things they always look look at. Oh, it does not have structures. This those are the things they base their judgments on. Oh, this one, ah, which did this one come? Oh, hey, all this one. All these gladiators that we have on ground, those who say they are going to pull crap, they are going to do this, they are going to do that. But see situation happening in this country, they will not say anything about it. What and what and what can be done? To condemn what is not right, they will not do that. But they will just come out and tell you, this one cannot win. Don't ask questions. How? Tell us. Tell us how. And if Atiku wins, then what happens? If Tinubu wins, what happens? What are the antecedents? What are the antecedents of Peter will be, no, they will not discuss it. They don't want you to ask questions. And that is one of the problems we have in this country. They will just tell you something. Just take it. Why? Why is this so? Okay, Peter B will not win. Why? Peter B will win. So why? Why do you tell me? Why? Tell me reasons why you think Peter B will win. Tell me reasons why you think that a... What's this? Uh, Tinumbu and Asiku. Tell me why they will win. Tell me what they, what they have done. Tell me their character. Tell me... I don't understand. So you just... If you have a company like this, a... Uh, Somebody just come, please. I want to. I want you to employ me. Okay, I want you to employ me. Oh, because God said I'm going to be, I'm going to be employed in your company. You say, you know, say, God says so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come. Oh, yeah, start work now. So, no, tell me. Somebody tells you that oh, you have a company and the person just comes here. I'm looking for a job, and because God told me that I'm going to be working here. Even if the person is going to be working there, really, first and foremost, for somebody who has brain, where are your credentials? What is your area of specialization? What is your discipline? Those are the questions that they will be hard seeing. I don't understand. And that's why God is a principled God. You can't just be cajoling people with this and this and that. No. What? I don't understand. So you know, ask questions. Yes, if God says the person is going to work there, then where are your credentials? Let me just look at this. And if the person is not qualified, you now say, oh, because he said God said. Yeah, just employ him. Or the person does not have that qualification. Yeah, employ him. That is exactly what the majority of the people have been in this country. Oh, Peter B will not win because he would have stayed back in PDP. Doing what? So you think uh, the presidential, now that they are quarreling in APC, uh, in PDP now, because of the choice of the running mates, all of them are running Tikatika. Is that the same thing that would have been happening? Or you think uh, the same wicked who thinks that he has done enough for the party? We allow Obi to now be vice presidential candidate because Obi was the vice presidential candidate last year, last uh, election cycle. You still, still repeat the same thing. Some everybody reuse your brain. Not, not all those who call themselves men of God that are 
they don't majority of them don't have wisdom it's not by being men of god because when they say something they some people are just fake that's it but some people just allow their their emotions to rule them but he has not even said that god said so that is another thing he didn't say god said he's just saying it based on what he thinks based on what he thinks i will not say you didn't prophesy but in whose name are you doing it remember our god is not mocked do use do use the name of the lord god in vain don't use it and predictions are not prophecy mark my words because i have seen all your stuff as predictions please research and pray for god revelations before you speak afraid of that your days of defrauding vulnerable nigerians is coming to an end fake pastors everywhere all these prophets eh? hmm. now wow people are just tired of apc and pdp but obi is not the messiah we are looking for in nigeria azumi oshibaju or amechi won election we will not be struggling uh so strong or strongly with who is going to be the next president of nigeria but as it is now tinubu is still the best among all in what will <laughs> personal opinion is allowed yeah is a pe- in what will because he has the money to be able to distribute or because of his antecedents i don't understand hmm. there are men who speak from their belly not even their heart nobody sent them nor did they hear even hear dog back unfortunately internet has um allow uh, 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 internet as app or app uh, that encourage this uh, on a detail the clueless writer to say whatever they want to say hmm. where are the fake pastors coming from everything now is peter b they don't even ever see good things all they see is evil hmm.